my dear brothers and sisters let's read this word of god gospel luke chapter 2 verse 7 we were reflecting about this bible passage she gave birth to her first born son and wrapped him in a bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn the last line there was no place for them in the inn what does it mean it means joseph must have joseph might have gone to every house knocking at the door Saint Joseph was knocking at one door, next door, and the, all the inns, all the restaurants, all the available houses there. And everyone opened their doors and looked at them, and they were found very poor, coming from a long journey. They may not have enough money in their pocket, and they are not coming from a wealthy, rich family. Therefore, all these people just rejected them, closed the doors against them. But in fact, if they had known who they are, they would have chased everyone out from their family and given them place in their home. They even they will even be ready to go out of their house and give their whole house only for this family. But they did not know who this family was. My dear brothers and sisters, do not judge anybody by appearances outside. When we reject and deny somebody, we may be denying the best person, the holiest person. Maybe we are denying the gift to God himself. It was God himself knocking at the doors of all those sins. It was God himself, the holy family, the most righteous person in the world and the most holy woman in the world without original sin and the holy almighty God himself in the womb. And they came and knocked but the people rejected, closed their doors against them. Now we are preparing ourselves for Christmas. There are so many who, in whom Jesus also lives. So many Jesus are there outside knocking at the door. The so many Josephs are there knocking at the door. So many Mother Marys are there knocking at the door. And we are closing our doors against them. Thinking that they don't deserve anything from, from us. My dear brothers and sisters, by doing so, we are rejecting not just ordinary people. We are denying the blessings not for just some our neighbors or friends or family members. We are denying the blessings, the denying and closing the door against our own God, our almighty God himself. So take this Christmas in a serious way and make a promise to God that we will help those who are really in need. If you remember anyone who is in need of your help, maybe children, youth, adults, families, maybe someone who is going through financial struggle and some families who have no food to celebrate the Christmas and there is no shelter for anyone to have uh, to celebrate there are so many broken families around there, out there. It is our duty to open our doors for them. It is our duty to help them. It is our duty to support them. It is our duty to go out of the way and support them in whatever way possible. God will bring the right person to you and please make sure that you help them. By doing so, you must be helping the Almighty God. You must be helping the Holy Family.